Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. All right, we get started on 24 hour temperature cast. It is cold out there this morning. It should warm up just fine this afternoon. So for all the MLK Day activities, I think the weather's going to cooperate around here. Maybe a little bit chilly early, but today we should see those numbers perk up and I do think we can get into the 60s like we did yesterday. Maybe not as pretty looking today just because we're going to see an increase in clouds and those clouds will play an important role tonight, preventing our temperatures from getting so cold tomorrow morning. The real cold air starts to get here later in the day tomorrow, and things are going to be very winter like when we get to Wednesday morning and Thursday morning when we could be looking at some pretty long duration freeze events all across our area, and that even includes down near the coastline. I, what I see right now is a whole lot of nothing in our area. All the sloppy winter weather is way off to our north, and that's where it's going to stay. We're 32 at the Tallahassee Airport, 34 in Thomasville, 35 in Valdosta. It's not breezy or anything just yet. We're going to be watching some energy pass by to the south. That will try to bring with it some rain chances, and around here we're only talking rain chances because the air is going to be too warm to support any other types of precipitation, even with all the talk of that wintry weather weather off to our north. That's not what's going to be bringing us our rain chances. Some energy passing by to the south will be doing that before the cold air gets here. Now, if things time out differently, we'll adjust the forecast. It's unlikely. Right now, I see 32 in Quincy and in Tallahassee. I see 34 in Thomasville, 35 at Camilla. Moultrie's at 36. Perry, one of the warmer spots at 40. Not breezy around here, and I don't think it's going to be breezy. Not today. Tomorrow, when those winds turn back to the northwest to bring in that cooler air, that breeze will freshen up. So we're going to be talking cold and windy. So it's really going to make for a cold night Tuesday into Wednesday. Here's the setup. Not much happening. Satellite radar composites all around here. All the sloppy weather is way north of Atlanta and north of Birmingham and north of Jackson, Mississippi, and that's likely where it's going to stay for today. Futurecast is going to show that energy passing by to our south. That's where the best concentration of rain will be, and most of that looks to be coastal counties and south, or at least south of I-10. It doesn't mean we can't get a couple of showers north of I-10. We can, but I think the best chances to get wet are going to stay to the south. South, and that should get in, out, and done fairly quickly as our winds turn back to the northwest to bring in that cooler air Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night. Here comes those cold temperatures, so you got to expect clearing, but much colder as we get to Wednesday morning. And depending on what we're able to do with some clouds trying to come back on Thursday, I think we're in for another frozen overnight Wednesday night into Thursday. So two really cold nights coming before we get the next chance to see some rain on Friday. So this active weather pattern is going to continue on the Gulf today. Winds generally less than 12 or 15 knots, so not bad for the boaters. They'll perk up a little bit more tomorrow. 30s this morning, bright and chilly this afternoon. We expect to see those temperatures into the 60s tonight. I think we keep it in the mid 40s, upper 40s, or even low 50s, but all the changes start tomorrow afternoon. Much colder Wednesday and Thursday, and maybe another blast of cold starting Saturday.